Fancy Nancy and the Splendiferous Christmas, written by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Price Glasser. Our house never looks fancy, except, ta-da, at Christmas time. Welcome, Santa. I love Christmas so much. It is important to find a tree with a wonderful aroma. That's a fancy word for smell. I think bigger is always better. But my dad says we must compromise. That means we end up with the tree my mom wants. On Christmas Eve, we get out the ornaments. Some were grandpa's when he was a little boy. These are heirlooms, my mom says. That's fancy for things that are old and valuable. Here is our tree topper. Isn't it just gorgeous? I bought it last summer with all my birthday money. It is never too early to prepare for Christmas. We always wait for Grandpa to decorate the tree. He'll be here very soon. While we wait, we bake Christmas cookies. My sister helps with the sprinkles. Mmm, delectable! That's fancy for yummy. Guess which one I decorated. I finished wrapping all the presents. This quilt is for Maribel. Put lace on anything and voila, it's fancy. I also made a tiny Christmas card for her. Next we go caroling, which is fancy for singing Christmas songs. Deck the halls. Back at home, still no grandpa. So we plead with our parents. Pleading is like begging, only fancier. Please, please, pretty please, can we just put up the tree topper now? Ooh la la. Everything it says on the box is true. It spins, it flashes on and off and changes color. My dad says that grandpa called. He'll be here any minute. We wait and wait and wait some more. How can a minute take so long? Frenchie is not as patient as I am. So I unwrap one of her presents, a tuck toy. Frenchie is strong, but I am stronger. I pull hard. Oops, the tree sways. Oh no, oh no, look out below. The tree topper smashes to pieces. I am devastated, which is upset only a zillion times worse. Just then, Grandpa arrives. I tell him what happened. When life gives you cracked eggs, make eggnog, he says. What does that mean? I ask. It means you improvise. That's a fancy word for using whatever's around to make something. We make a new tree topper with glitter and pom-poms and ribbons. Grandpa says, one day you will have your own family and you will tell them how we made this together. Ooh, it's going to be an heirloom, I explained to my sister. Decorating the tree is so much fun. There's no such thing as too much tinsel, I keep telling everyone. 
Only one word describes how magnificent, joyous, and sparkly Christmas morning is. Splendiferous. The end, and Merry Christmas!